Psychologists use aversion counter conditioning therapy for a number of reasons. Anything where you want to change somebody's habit so that something that's been attractive to them no longer is attractive to them. Now gay conversion therapy is banned throughout the state. Clinical psychologist Eric Morrell says within the professional community, gay conversion therapy has been deemed unethical and hasn't been practiced for years. Uh, they're still doing this stuff? I didn't even know. I don't know anybody who does it. The therapy uses shock treatments when sexually aroused to, quote, cure someone's sexual orientation. Morrell says he supports the ban, but it still came as a surprise. We have such bigger fish to fry than to worry about someone's lifestyle and what they do behind closed doors. According to Morrell, the success rates are modest, but some end up finishing therapy confused. They've had a therapist who's kind of confirmed that for them, that it's a bad idea to be gay, but they can't get out of it. So they could end up becoming more depressed about that, more anxious. That's something Lori Stanton with Rogue Valley's LGBT elders has witnessed with some of her friends. Homosexuality was something that needed to be cured or needed to be taken out of the person. Um, and these people, as they grew up into adults, they um, were very, very scarred by it. Stanton says she's happy to see the ban, and the idea of even trying to convert someone's sexual orientation is ridiculous. This isn't a disease. Um, this is who we are. We were born to be a gay or lesbian person. Gay or not, Morrell says the ban is a statement, one that says it's not acceptable to Oregonians to treat individuals with such prejudice so prejudicial that they should feel bad about themselves and even consider having to change their orientation. Covering your news in Medford, Ariana Rakshani, News 10.